Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Sunday, November 20th, and it is currently 12 o'clock, and I have my full body silicone here, Baby 7. And as you guys know, he is the one that I was talking about, and the, um, how do you know when it's time to let a baby go, like, out of your collection? He was the one I was talking about. I didn't want to say names, but it was him. And you guys had shared your expressions and thoughts. And thank you all for that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to him. Unless there's someone seriously interested in him, then I'll proceed and see how I feel. But for, for now, I am going to hold on to him, see if I can bond. Some people even left some tips and tricks and things that I should do and try to do to see if the bond goes back and I really really appreciate it so yeah I am going to just keep him unless there is someone seriously interested and then we'll go from there but he's still part of my collection and he's not for sale so anyways we're gonna change him out of this uh long sleeve onesie and I'm actually gonna be doing a video after this as well but you guys won't be seeing that video until a little bit later in the week but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing I'm just gonna be wearing this plain long sleeve white sleeve actually does he have one on underneath he totally does have one on underneath yeah he does okay well he's gonna be wearing a long white sleeve um onesie and then he's gonna be wearing these blue these blue pants that has mickey mouse heads all over it with a matching hat and i put this outfit on milano but it has like the actual matching top to it but it's short sleeve and i don't want any of my babies in short sleeve right now because of the snow so they're all going in long sleeves if they don't already have long sleeve on i'm also going to be changing some other babies maybe tomorrow and the day is going or i think i'm going to leave milano in the outfit that he has on but i'm going to be changing saint and i'm going to be changing september and guys can you believe november just got here and it's already gone it's november 20th that is so crazy. It's about to be December. December. Burr, burr. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I don't really have a topic for this video, but I did want to just talk about sold out limited edition kits. And the ones that I really, really want. And you guys can just go ahead and let me know in the comments below your couple of sold out limited edition kits that you don't have in your collection, but you really, really want. And so I have a lot, but I'm not going to name all of them. I'm just going to name a few. So I didn't grab a diaper for him, even though I was wanting to. I have a few long sold out limited edition kits that I really want into my collection. But I have just not been able to find one that I like. And of course, it's hard to find any that's blank. And when you do find them, they're so much more. And, you know, if I really, really love the kit, you know, I said that I wouldn't buy them for, like, more. But I feel like if it's a baby or a kit that I really, really want, I probably will, just depending on how much more it is. My first one is Charlemagne by Bonnie Brown. Ever since I came into this collection, I into this collection, ever since I came into this hobby, I've been wanting a Charlemagne by Bonnie Brown for the absolute longest time ever. Okay, I guess we can leave his diaper. It's a little crunchy, but it'll be okay. So mine is Charlemagne by Bonnie Brown, and I never know how to say this or pronounce it, but Sarai's, Sarai's, Saros, I don't know, it's like S-A-I-R-O-S-E, Shrasha. <laughs> I heard a few people call it Shrasha, but I don't think that's it either. I honestly, I don't know how to pronounce it. The spelling will be on the screen, most likely a picture of the baby or a kit. The picture, if I add a picture, it does not belong to me. Credit go to the artist and or collector, whoever took the picture and whoever has the baby. But I've been wearing that kit for the longest as well. And I don't bond too well with small babies, but that baby, me and that baby will get along. <laughs> and so those are my main two. And then there are a couple that I would love to add, like Evelyn by Cassie Brace. That's my favorite size. My favorite babies are asleep babies. Before I was strictly asleep babies, and then I realized I like awake babies as well. 
but um, Evelyn, that's my favorite size, the zero to three, three month size. And then I, back, it was a long, long time ago, there was like one particular Evelyn that I just fell in love with. And I was like, I have to get that kit. But I didn't know what sold out limited edition was or, or that they will stop making them after the kit sold out because I didn't know anything about that. I was fairly young, but then now that I do know, I'm like, oh gosh, darn it. <laughs> Another one was the Julieta kit. And my friend from a long, long time ago, I don't think she's into the babies anymore, but she had one and sh hers made me fall in love with that kit. And I don't remember who Julieta is by, but they'll be on the screen as well. Juliet or Julieta, that baby or that kit, super, super cute. And long sold out so you guys will have to let me know your favorite sold out limited edition kits in the comments that you want to add into your collection and i'm pretty sure i have way more like ariel by joanna casimir zach and these are like from a long long time ago yours doesn't necessarily have to be from a long time ago but ariel by joanna casimir zach she's a toddler size that baby right there or that kit is absolutely gorgeous that kid is literally beautiful and i wish i wish i could find that kid i follow maybe two people on instagram that does have that kid in their collection and they're so cute but ariel by joanna casmer is actually probably like the first toddler except for ariana by reva Shake um that i fell in love with and i just love that she could stand or had the standing legs and i think that's why i really like the toddlers with standing legs because of that kit but um I guess one from not back in the days, maybe a couple of years ago, that I would like to add in my collection that's sold out in tradition has to be Benjamin by Natalie Blake. I actually don't have any Natalie Blake babies. I just got the Zoe kit in August, and that was, or that is my first ever Natalie Blake sculpt or baby. And that baby is blank though, just a blank kit. But I would love to add a Benjamin into my collection. Guys, I just recently found out maybe two weeks ago, two to three weeks ago, that they have the same limbs. Benjamin and Missy has the same limbs. I didn't know that before until recently. And I think that's kind of cool because they can be like a twins or something like that. So I think that's pretty cool. But I do like the Missy kit as well. So if I ever do find one that I end up liking... I would love to add that into my collection, but Benjamin is one that I really, really, really want to add into my collection. So yeah, again, I probably have a lot more, but I just decided to do this video now. So my thoughts and things like that are very limited, which is why the video is so short and about to be over already. I love his hair. I love a baby with a head full of hair. Super soft as well. Fun fact, his hair is actually supposed to be curly, but I didn't get the right hair. <laughs> so we use this, which is like wavy, but more so just really just straight. But I still love it because, you know, when the babies first come out, the hairs are like super straight and super full. Not all the time, but sometimes. Depends. Depends on what baby. So, let's try the hat on him. I know I always put a pass in his mouth. I'm going to put one in today, I think. But I like him with passies in. Him in particular. I don't really like a passies on all of my babies necessarily. But for him, I do like to have a passy in his mouth. Okay. He fits his hat so perfectly. Let's see if I can give him some baby edges. <laughs> and I don't like to put hats on the babies that have muted hair either. Because sometimes when it's in like a set, like an alpha set, it's just like you have to. You just have to put the hat on him. Super cute. Let's see if his hair sticks out in the back. And it does. That's adorable. 
super cute. <laughs> okay, so I just grabbed a little soothing pacifier, like little hospital soothing pacifiers for him. And I really, really love this one, but Judas had came home with it, so I'm going to be sending him back with it. So my babies can't use it anymore. But we're just going to go ahead and put this one in his mouth. And I'm going to most likely get a pack of those passies because I like that they're clear and they can go and match anything. And I think this is this is the first year passy. I need to check and make sure he came to me with that and not Saint. I don't think so because I think Saint had a cut pass price. So yeah, I think that's his that he came with. But anyways, this is Baby 7. This is the Nathan sculpt by Helen Connors, molded and poured by Tracy Harrington. Where is this hair fabric, whatever? I don't know where that's coming from. This is him. I love that he has like one open hand and then one little fist or closed hand. I always say fist. Super cute. I'm gonna thank you guys off the tripod and then close out this video. Okay, so here is Baby Seven looking handsome as ever in his Mickey Mouse outfit. I didn't have time to get the baby's Thanksgiving outfits, so we're gonna be skipping out on Thanksgiving outfits as well, just like we did with Halloween because I just did not have the time. But Christmas for sure, we have to get dressed. I think I get my baby dressed every every single year of Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I missed one Christmas without getting all of my babies dressed. So the only ones that won't be getting dressed is Eileen and Zaire. Unless my mom dresses them. I could probably ask her, but I don't know. I don't, I mean, she would, but they have a lot of clothes and things like that. So it's going to be hard finding an outfit while I'm not there. So Eileen and Zaire may be the only ones not dressed as well as, you know, Nolan willow and messiah so just the babies that i have here they would be getting dressed for christmas and the holidays so yeah anyways this is seven once again and he looks so cute and that is pretty much it for this video guys if you want to go ahead and give me a follow on instagram go ahead and do so my instagram is my underscore reborns and if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you guys want in the comments including video requests as well as your top three favorite sold out limited edition kits that you do not have but you would like to add into your collection and if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video we will talk to you guys later bye